I really like myself a nice big grinder but this one has always had a problem with its switch where it would only sporadically switch on and if it did switch on it would almost always pop the breaker because of its high starting surge and that is very annoying. So I got myself a Makita repair shop license and a replacement switch plus a soft starter on eBay for 30 euros and went to work. 12 hours later after returning from work I started disassembling the thing. This is the new switch. It has two additional spade connectors for hooking up the soft starter. But the wires of the soft starter could also be put in the same terminals as the power cord. So no need to get a new switch if yours is okay and you just want to retrofit the soft starter. And this is installing the power cord and the strain relief to the new switch. The two thin wires of the soft starter connect directly to mains and neutral and the short ones with the spade connectors connect to the switch and the bare ones connect to the motor. The housing of the version that comes with a soft starter is slightly different, so this one has to be modified. I created a new slit for the wires to go through and cleaned everything with grease remover before closing off the old slit with some adhesive. Then I used some self-stick foam to create a seal. This is supposed to keep dirt away from the switch. Probably doesn't actually do anything, but you know. Now the soft starter can be pushed between those prongs, which keep it suspended in the cooling air being sucked in by the motor. I connected the motor using those Wago quick connectors. Soldering the connection would have been better, but I didn't have a powerful enough soldering iron at the time. So, oh well, that's what I did. And the moment of truth. Oops, what was that? Beautiful, nice and smooth. I went back and sealed those Wago connectors with some electrical tape. So let's enjoy. Beautiful.